This is what we're tackling today. Oh my gosh. It's skincare time. I'm gonna go through my skincare with you guys. I need to be real with myself of what I want to freaking get rid of. They haven't wowed me. They gotta go. I'm really trying to test more skincare out than I have in the past. So I need to just take a moment and go through this i'm probably also going to go through these as well so i hope you guys will enjoy i think i'm going to take everything out of the bathroom though just so we have better audio and i kind of want to just completely clear this off so it's like a total refresh sometimes you need that and i want to like scrub this thing down like that's what we're going to do so i hope you guys will enjoy let's get to decluttering I decided to clean this thing early at the beginning so it can be dry by the time I put stuff on it. It's like my genius move of the day. But honestly, holy shit, this was so annoying to clean. Like I love it, but it sucked. So anyway, I'm gonna let that dry. Let's get to decluttering. All right, here we are. It is pretty cluttered. This is, I can't believe all this fits on that freaking thing. It's so much. So I wanna go through this. I might be getting rid of stuff that I don't even dislike. I just have so much that I wanna try and I have to just be realistic. I'd rather pass some things on while they're still good. I have friends and family who will gladly take this stuff. So let's just get into it. Some of this stuff I'm still testing. Some of this stuff I've had on there for a while. So I have some road products. These are staying on the cart because I, have been like bringing them in and that's why it was overflowing you know what I mean so this is the glazing mill I've been enjoying this so far so I'm gonna keep that for sure this is the other road product I have which is the peptide glazing fluid I don't like this as much I do like the glazing milk more I mean they're different products but yeah I'm gonna keep that this one I could probably use up because I need so many pumps of it to get on my skin I don't know if I'm using it wrong or what but um yeah, I feel like the glazing milk is definitely the standout. These from Undefined, I think Beauty is the name of the brand. I got these from the Creators and Friends strip, which is so great. I'm glad to have tried these in PR and I think I am actually gonna keep them, which I don't plan on doing with most things. Like if I'm not putting it back on the cart, I'm trying to be good and not keep them. But this is more of a, a serum, a night serum, but it's kind of thick. It's almost like an oil, but it absorbs really nicely. And this is a hyaluronic acid serum. It's more viscous though than other ones it's not as watery and I do like both of these products but I've definitely tested them enough and I'm ready to kind of move on so I might have my husband use some of these up when he needs some stuff or you know revisit them later on um, but I do like them enough to keep them I do think they're pretty nice they're also just kind of bulky as well on that tray these two like take up their own section almost so I'm going to uh, retire these but I'm actually not going to be decluttering them I have this little gift with purchase from Tony Moly super cute it's a gel to cream scrub mask and I think I'm just gonna pass it on I haven't opened it or anything but I have so many of these types of scrub products I think I can pass this on this next product is from Freck it's the rich bitch uh, hydrating cream I don't know <laughs> it's like this really thick or supposed to be really thick cream but I don't even find it that thick like on my skin it doesn't really feel as supple as I want so I've used a bit of this I got this from Ipsy which was great to see save some money, but I think I'm gonna have to pass on this one. I definitely don't like it enough. And when I think of like a really rich moisturizing cream I wanna put on my face, like this does not come to mind. And I just feel like it's wasting away in my collection. So I'm gonna pass that on. Another declutter, unfortunately, this is from the Sephora brand. It's the brightening eye cream. And I think I actually had, unfortunately, one of you guys, I'm so sorry I don't like this cause you guys do, but I had someone say this was similar to the Belief Aqua aqua balm like moisturizing eye balm that I love and I do not find that to be true this one's just not a gel cream texture this is more like a cream texture 
Um, so I just don't find that it hydrates in the same way and I just prefer something different. I don't really like this feeling on my under eyes. So this I'm going to pass on. I feel like I have so many masks and I think I'm gonna retire most of these just so I can get some new ones kind of on the book. So I don't know again if I'm gonna necessarily declutter these. I do like them all, the Glossier uh, Moon Mask. This one's really good for hydration. I might even go back and pick one of these if I don't find a more hydrating mask because we're going into colder weather, but I also have this Pixie Milky Remedy Mask. This one from Peach and Lily is the Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. Those are all gonna get retired. I have this Glam Glow Mask and it still smells good. I think I actually might pass it on. Even though I do like this mask, I tend to use it more for like when I'm breaking out and I do have spots here and there, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this whole thing up by the time I feel like it needs to be. So that one's actually gonna get passed on. I really also did love this cream from Caudalie in a lot of ways. It's the Premier Crew. They sent this to me and a little bit goes a long way. You don't really need a lot of it. And I don't find it sinks in very fast, but I always wake up with like the most baby soft skin on my face when I use this. So I'm tempted to keep this, but I also am like, we have so much skincare here. It's like, I only have one face. I have so many things like waiting in the wings that I do truly and genuinely want to try so I don't know I mean I have a little less than half probably left in here we have been using it me and my husband when I say we so um I don't know I'm gonna put this to the side for now and we'll just kind of see where everything goes but I don't know what I want to do I do still have some things that are newish I'm still testing this from Merit is the great skin instant glow serum so um it's like a bi phase you can see there and you shake it up and use it so I'm still testing that I'm also still testing the glow recipe serum this is the pom pomegranate peptide firming serum. So both of those are gonna stay. I've had these sheet masks in there as like potentials to use and I have used a few of them, but I think I'm gonna refill with some different options. So I'm going to just retire these. I've actually been really enjoying the sheet masks lately. The pimple patches are a staple, so those are just gonna stay. Um, I always have these on hand just for whenever I get a spot. It really helps to suck out, you know, all that moisture. This I really was giving a go because I got it at Costco. I try not to get sucked into the Costco beauty stuff because it's in bulk. I don't need stuff in bulk when it comes to oh, beauty. I get so much. I shop new products, all that. It's just like I don't need the value of that, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm gonna pass this on, but this is like firming and for your neck and stuff. And I thought, oh, that's nice. I usually put whatever I'm using on my neck and it, it's fine, but I don't have a special connection and I kind of need that with all the options I have. I have a lot of sunscreens here, a lot of K-Beauty sunscreens. I'm gonna pass on a few of them. This one I am for sure. It's the Abib one and it's pretty uh, greasy compared to some of the other ones. So I find this best for like more oily skin or if you want that kind of dewy look. So I'm gonna pass that on. I'm sure someone in my family will love it. Also, I'm trying to get everyone in Arizona to really wear that sunscreen, you know what I'm saying? Cause man, the sun out there is so brutal. I have some Laneige products that they sent me and these are new, so I'm definitely keeping these. I have this blue hyaluronic cream moisturizer, which I've really been enjoying. And then also the Laneige Cream Skin Sera Peptide. This one is just the shaker, but I think they have something where you can like change out the top on it and then put a spray, which I would love to do because it's kind of similar. Um, to this product from Dr. Jart that I've also really, really been enjoying. I'm like down to here on this one, so I'm gonna keep both of these. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna use this up, especially again, getting into the dry month, so I'm gonna keep those. This is an empty, so this is actually gonna go in my empties from Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I'm always so stubborn and kind of stingy when it comes to these, like I will take off the lid, I will scrape the inside of these, uh, but it's basically done, so that needs to go into the empties. This is another product that's basically gonna end up in the empties from Tony Moly, but I would never purchase this. I think I got this either free with purchase or maybe I did buy it, but oh my Oh my gosh, it's the Peach Punch Cleansing Water. And this thing smells like straight up gummy peach rings. It is so strong. They have such cute products, but the scent on this was so strong. Sam would like be like, what? Why do you smell like peach? Like on my face. I was like, oh my goodness. So I would not repurchase this. I'm gonna stick to my Bioderma. That's like my favorite micellar water. So yeah, but I did finish it. I got the use out of it, but yeah, I definitely didn't enjoy that. I have tons of these cutie little 
samples and I've been trying some of them, but I don't think any of them I've liked enough. I can tell when I like a sample because it's all I wanna use. So the moon fruit from Herbivore, I, I just, I don't know, I haven't loved it. Tata Harper, a little sample here. This is a sample of eye cream from um, Youth to the People, which I thought was fine, like it's nice, it's just not my favorite. Um, and then I have this Freck Cactus Water. This one I haven't tried nearly as long, so I'm gonna give this one more of a go, but for sure these three are gonna go. More little samples, it's like play makeup almost. I have this Innisfree Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's okay, I, I wouldn't mind using this in the full size maybe, but it's so viscous, it's hard to kind of get out. So again, I just don't wanna fuss with it, so I'm gonna pass that on. I have this sunscreen from Dr. Jar. I do want to try that. I also have this Sika Pear Cream, which is green, and it really does counteract the redness in my skin, so I'm actually going to put that. Um, I'm going to save that one. This from Glow Recipe, I actually didn't love. It's the Guava Eye Cream, and I did not think it was that good, so I think I might be almost done. I might try it a few more times just so I can have some good thoughts on it if I ever want to do a Glow Recipe video, but yeah, I did not like that. Another product that's sadly leaving the cutest little packaging from Beauty Project. It's the Next Level Moisturizer. Got this from Ipsy and I just don't love it. Again, it's just not my favorite, so that's going. I absolutely love this Glow Recipe product, the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Um, it's almost done, so I'm just gonna finish that one up, but love this. These are some products that are like in the middle of the top of the spinny thing. This eye cream from Byro, I freaking love so much. This is actually my second tube because I went through the first one and if you do Ipsy and BoxyCharm, these are like 12 bucks but they retail for like a hundred something. I don't even know if it's worth a hundred but it's such a silky, serum -y kind of eye cream and it's nice and hydrating without being heavy. I really do like it so I'm keeping that. Those I like decluttered and then like decided what the hell, why don't I just try it? I was like out of the eye cream I was using and I was like, holy shit. These are so good. Anyway, from Caudalie, this is the Premier Crew Eye Cream. I love that this has like a little metal cooling applicator. I think that's so nice, especially for puffiness. So I kind of want to keep it just for that. I don't really have anything to kind of sub in for it, but I don't love the cream itself. So I don't know what I want to do with that quite yet. And then this is like a lip scrub and it pretty much sucks, so that's going. I just don't like that one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd be better with a tool than I would like this type of product, I don't know. This is a cream from Makeup Revolution. I think where we last like did one of these kind of skincare resets, I was adding this and I've used it a couple times, but I don't love it. And this is modeled after the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which is too heavy for my skin. But you know what? My mom, when she was here, she put some on I had a deluxe sample and her skin looked amazing. Like I could tell the difference of just that cream being on her skin for the little bit it was. It was crazy. So, um, you know, it's just proof products work different for different people or work differently for you at different times in your life or in different atmospheres or different climates. So just something to consider. But anyway, I'm gonna be getting rid of the Miracle Cream from Revolution. So uh, yeah, that's gonna go. Okay, you guys. Uh, I don't know if I love this Tower 28 cream. I know it's supposed to just kind of be whatever. It's supposed to be simple, um, but I just don't love the texture. It's fine. I just don't love it. I really don't love this product, so I might get rid of this. You might see it in like a disappointing products video or a review video, but I'm definitely going to be removing this from my collection. And that kind of goes for some other stuff too, but yeah, that's a no. This is another product I feel like I'm gonna retire and just get rid of potentially because even though it's from Glow Recipe, you know I love it. And I do love this cleanser, like the actual feel. The hole is just so big, you guys. It just is so messy, look at this. It's so messy, it just squirts on out, like just leaks out. I just don't love that. So that is unfortunate, but I'm gonna get rid of that. I have another empty, this is from Beekman 1802, it's the milk wash. Tell me why this smells like a dank basement. It smells like a moldy basement and then tell me why I kinda like it. <laughs> I don't even hate it. So um, anyway, I'm glad I used it up. It kinda turned milky and it had little tiny exfoliating crystals in it. It was interesting, very different than a lot of stuff I've ever used. And then this Briogeo, this is like a leave-in hair conditioner, so not skincare, but it kinda all overflows in that area. And I was excited to try this because I was hoping I would love it and I don't really love it. So that's gonna go also that I just, 
I'm not gonna keep it around. I'd rather buy the Way one and try other ones in the meantime and not keep around this little sample. I've really loved this from Saturday Skin, so I'm gonna keep this. It's one of those um, kind of like exfoliating products that feels like you're rubbing the dead skin off your face in a way, like not in a harsh exfoliating way, just kind of as you do circles, the skin kind of balls up and pills up. So I'm gonna keep that, I do like that. These are a few sunscreens. I'm gonna retire, again, this one I didn't get a ton of use out of. I haven't tried it a ton. So I might just retire this and see if I like it because it is tinted from um, Undefined Beauty. This sunscreen from Naturium, I am not a fan of. It's just too thick, too heavy. I like so many of my K-Beauty ones better. So I'm actually gonna pass that on. I think my mom would really like it. I know people like this, but it's definitely not for me. I don't know why, it's almost looking bad, so actually I'm just gonna get rid of that. It's like very, very, very watery in here, and it's, yeah, that's gonna go. All right, some more masks I'm gonna retire. From Caudalie, this is the Venergetic, I don't know, I, I can't really pronounce that. And from Tatcha, the Clarifying Clay Mask. Um, I like both of these, but I like the Tatcha one more than the Caudalie, because the Tatcha one, it's only supposed to be on for like three minutes, so it's really fast, and I don't find the clay to be too drying, or, you know, I don't know. I just, I like the Tatcha one a little bit more. I still like the Caudalie one, don't get me wrong, but again, I wanna try some new stuff. So these are just gonna retire for the moment. This is is a hair product from Amika and I do want to give this a try. This is the Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. I am trying to do better at taking care of my hair and maybe trying some more like oils and stuff, especially since I got so many in the advent calendars and I do want to see how my hair reacts to them um, as well as like, you know, washing and just doing all those treatments. Sometimes I feel like because it's so thin and fine, it doesn't need all that, but I do have very dry ends for sure. So I'm gonna try this and it's not really skincare though. I have these two masks. I think I'm gonna keep the um, First Aid Beauty. This one I'm, I've only tried once. So I'm gonna keep that in, especially too, because it's more, I feel like First Aid Beauty in general is a little bit more medical, not as like fluffy and fun. But sometimes I just need like the rescue mask, you know? So I'm gonna keep that, the Wonder Beauty, staycation one I'm gonna actually just pass on um, and let someone else have that. I have so many Peach and Lily products. This is the newer copper peptide one. I've been really enjoying that so I'm gonna keep that um, and then these two I've been using for a while. I think these might just go into retirement for right now. I like the Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum more than I do the retinol for all, although a lot of you guys were saying that for retinols, you need to use them really consistently um, over time to see the results, whereas something like the lactic acid is giving those results a little bit faster. So um, I'm definitely keeping that in mind because I didn't love this as much because I felt like my skin didn't look as refreshed, but I do think it has to do with that. So I'm gonna keep both of these for now, but you know, take them off the tray. One of the new products I'm trying out, kind of in you know replacement of that Peach and Lily, the good jeans from Sunday Riley. This was in one of my advent calendar boxes. So exciting, I got a full size like that, it's so fun. So anyway, I'm excited to have that. I've used it one time and I definitely need to use it a few more times just to even have some thoughts, but very fun one to me anyway. <laughs> a very fun uh, glycolic acid treatment. So many sunscreens, you guys, <laughs> there's so many. Um, I, okay, I wanna keep the e.l.f. one. I do like that one quite a bit. It has a nice glow. It doesn't necessarily have a tint, but it's a pretty glow, so that's staying. But I might move this to my makeup and like kind of primer sunscreen area because I definitely think about it a lot with my makeup. From Summer Fridays, this is a nice one for a more mattifying sunscreen. That's how I've been using it, and I do like it for that, especially when I'm gonna be doing something where I really want my makeup to stay on, but I'm really making sure I'm wearing my sunscreen. That is going to stay. These two stick sunscreens are gonna stay. I think I like the Vanillico more, but how I like to use these actually is for my chest. So when I'm out and about, I like to keep this in my purse. I'm like halfway done with this, I wanna say, at this point. I've been getting some good use out of it, but I really like it when I feel like I'm out and I'm getting more sun exposure and I wanna like reapply. These are so nice to just get my chest because I get so much sun damage there and it just gets so red. The um, Beauty of Jozon one is nice as well, but this one is more mattifying and I just find for whatever reason, like stuff collects in it more. You know what I mean? This one has more like a natural dewy finish, not super dewy, but just like natural, like a natural nice sheen. This one is more mattifying, but 
for some reason, again, just stuff catches in it. I'm gonna keep both, but yeah. I do like the Can Make uh, sunscreen. This is a J Beauty sunscreen, but I do like the Matcha Hydrating uh, sunscreen better from B Lab. So I'm actually going to pass, I think, this one on just because it's a lot of sunscreens. I wanna make sure they're all good. So that's gonna go. And then this Beauty of Jozon one is also pretty nice. Um, it's more of like a serum-y texture. It's really more like true skincare, not necessarily sunscreen, although obviously sunscreen is skincare, but hopefully you know what I mean. I'm gonna keep this for now. I use this more on my body though because I do get so oily with it. So I like to use this on my chest and again on my shoulders and stuff like that. I usually don't have have packet samples, but this is one I really do want to try from Sunday Riley. It's the eye cream and my friend Simbri loves this eye cream. So I want to just like poke a little pinhole. That's what they told me at Sephora. Poke a little pinhole in it and then just squeeze it out that way so it lasts me and it's not so exposed and all that. So I want to keep that around and actually try it. This baby's on its last legs, so I'm going to keep that around, but it really won't be around long. Okay, this Biro spray, I do like it. So I don't want to get rid of it, but I want to retire it. I want to try other stuff. It's, I just want other stuff. It's taking up too much space. So I'm gonna keep it for now, but um, it's definitely not getting used currently. I'm gonna pass on both of these. I do like these little Beauty Bio eye masks and they're nice for travel and stuff, but um, I have other eye masks and I don't think I really need this right now. So that's gonna go. And then from Caudalie, the Vino Clean, it's like a foaming cleanser. I just find it strips my face a little too much. So I'm going to pass that on to someone else. I did like it and it smells kind of grapey and it smells nice and clean, but I just feel like I need something that's not as stripping. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pass both those on. I have two makeup removers here. I think I'm actually just gonna get rid of the Laura Mercier. I was keeping this around for waterproof stuff, but I just use a cleansing oil if I need to get that off and then I can get the remnants off with, again, Bioderma or whatever. So I actually think I can pass that on because that's the only reason it's staying around and I just feel like I have a way to truly get that off and I don't even like the way this feels in my eyes, you know? I don't, ugh, I hate that oily feeling. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This is a little mini sample from Bobbi Brown and it's a cleansing oil. I kind of want to try it, but at the same time, I have so many cleansing oils. They're not even here. I should have brought them out, but I'm going to let go of that sample and I haven't even used that. This product from Way, I unfortunately don't like. It's like this spray volumizing product for your hair and it just makes my hair so dry. I need like more of a mousse that gives me like a flexible hold that kind of almost encapsulates my hair this just makes it dry and like feel like so brittle and like hay and I don't want that kind of volume. So I'm going to get rid of that. Another sunscreen here. This one's from Beauty of Jozon. I think I'm going to just use that up. I'm telling you, I go, I'm trying to go through the sunscreen and really use it. So this one I like quite a bit. So that's going to stay. I'm going to put this Tula scrub in my shower. It's like a pumpkin one. So hopefully I like it, but I tend to like these physical exfoliants in my shower more than um, when I'm just doing my normal skincare routine. This from Jones Road, oh my gosh, I don't like this. It's like an oil-free moisturizer, but it is one of the most sticky, weird, oily concoctions. I feel like the Jones Road line in general is just such a dry skin friendly line. If you have dry skin and you want something kind of minimal, I feel like there's stuff for you. This just feels so um, just slimy almost, to me anyway. <laughs> it's kind of slimy and it does dry down eventually, but I just actually really actually dislike it. And I think it's so weird because it's like literally like oil free. And I'm like, this is the most oily feeling oil free product. Product I've ever felt in my life. So um, that's gonna go. I mean, we must try the little mini La Mer, right? I mean, I gotta try it. It's so small. It's probably gonna be like two faces worth of moisturizer. So I'm gonna keep that. I hate to say I don't like this and this, I might not like it because it was from Ipsy and I'm trying to be better about not buying too much from Ipsy because of the uh, potential for things to be off. You know what I mean? Like I do feel like things go there on their last legs and I get that and it's part of the cycle and you know, I'm, I'm trying to get a deal and whatever, but but sometimes things feel off. And this one from Bloom Effects, I don't know, texturally, it's just a little bit not my favorite. And the few times I've used it, I already don't really like it. So I'm actually, 
I can't find a expiration date on it at all, um, but I'm gonna get rid of that, I think, already. I have some Bobbi Brown products here, the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I really like this, but I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. Um, and then I also have it in the eye cream, and that I'm gonna keep. It's like, I'm gonna have this eye cream, maybe I'll be testing out a few others, and then also my tried and true at the moment, the Byro one, so um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this, retire this, but still keep it. This lately has been my go-to just cream if I don't know what to do and I'm just trying to keep it simple. So I'm gonna keep that in there. From Purito, this is the Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. These are my little eye patches. Really have been enjoying these. I just feel like my eyes are so puffy just underneath my eyes in general. I'm like, what is going on? But I probably should just sleep more, but <laughs> I'm gonna keep that for now. If I have something else, I know I have some from the Yes Style Advent Calendar because I'm gonna refill whatever I can. I want the tower to be full again, but I wanna have new products to kind of reach for and you know, try out. So I might retire these and bring them back out. We'll just see, but um, I'm gonna keep them for now and just see what I actually bring out. This, I have it in the box, but I have been using it. I've used it twice from Coco Kind. This was sent to me the Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. This is so interesting. Again, texturally, I almost feel like I'm using alien goop or something. <laughs> I know that's like a weird thing to say, but look at this. It's almost like purpley. It almost feels like I'm putting on a clay mask. It's not texturally that, but it looks like a clay mask almost. Um, but it's very hydrating. So I wanna keep trying that one out. This is just a box. Tell me why I like to hoard boxes now. Oh my gosh, I never had a problem with that before, but then I started doing Instagram stuff and I'm like, oh, maybe I need the box for this or that. I'm like, oh my gosh. But sometimes I'm really happy I do have the boxes, but I think I can get rid of this one. I think I can. I can do it. I can get rid of cardboard. All right, I have some hair stuff here. This one, okay, I love the smell of this. I think one of you maybe recommended the Kristen S Dry Finish Texture Spray. It smells kind of like Mojave Ghost, but I don't like the way this actually texturizes. It just doesn't do enough for me. I like the, unfortunately, <laughs> the Orbe one so much more. So I'm gonna pass this on if Sam doesn't like it because he always goes for the Orbe too. I know he likes that one better as well. We have one that floats between our two bags bathrooms and I'm always like gosh dang it it's in the other bathroom because he stole it back from me so I think I'm gonna get rid of this if he's fine with it because I either want to try stuff that might work better or just use what works honestly so that's gonna go these I got as PR from Beach Waver and I have a shine squad and a great barrier heat protectant I want to try both of them I've never really tried a shine spray kind of frightened because I'm scared it will make my hair so oily but maybe it'll just look shiny and nice so I'm gonna try both of those out this cream from Touch and Soul is gonna go. I mean, it's nice, it's a gel cream, it's pretty lightweight, but I just don't love it. Like, there are some gel creams fall in love with. The Purita one, fall in love with. This one, not really, not really. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I love this mask from Summer Fridays. I think it's just such a great one to really recover my skin. I use it like as a sleeping mask usually. So I'll put a thick layer on and then go to bed for the night. So I'm gonna keep that. This is one of the skincare products I got in the advent calendars and um, I just used it once and it was like so white. It almost felt like putting glue on my face. <laughs> like it was that kind of Elmer's consistency and just all the way white. It was so interesting, um, but it just kind of stayed moisturizing on me. It was fine. This thing retails for like $100. Like I think this size, it's, yeah. I don't think it's worth that from my first try of this, but um, I think I'm gonna give it one more go at least since I've already used it, you know what I mean? So I'll put that over to the side, put it back in the uh, spinner. All right, this cream from Aloe, I do wanna give a shot. I've tried it a couple times, but not enough to know anything about it, but I feel like it's been up there enough that I'm like, oh, I kinda wanna get rid of it already, but I really don't know my thoughts. So that I'm gonna keep around a little longer. Maybe you won't see me, you know, put it in the declutter. It might make it there before we touch base again, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot at least. This is on its last little legs. Oh my gosh, here it is, I'm breaking it in front of you guys, but it's like this little pomade stick and I've been using it to try to put down my flyaways. At first it was Sam's and then I kind of took it over, but basically it's done. So I either need to try something new or I need to get this again. We'll just see, but I think that's gonna go into my empties because it's kind of just a chaotic product at this point. But um, if you guys have any suggestions for like things you use to do more slick hairstyles or 
tame baby hairs, that type of stuff. I'd love to know. I'm trying to do more of those slick hairstyles. Um, you know, just embracing my thin hair, it kind of works out, but I do feel like I need products still, at least somewhat. So if you have any recommendations that you love, I would love to know. All right, this is just gonna go back in my makeup stash for now and then we'll deal with it later. You guys probably already know I don't like this if you watch my Sephora video, but I wore it the other day because I was like, all right, I'm just doing kind of errands all day. I'm not gonna do my makeup. Let me just put this on and yeah, I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. I felt very oily. I don't know. It almost makes me feel like dirty at the end of the day because it just feels like everything's clinging to it, like all the dirt of the day, all the pollution in the air. It feels like a magnet for it for some reason. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's gonna go in my drawer for now. And yeah, sometimes with like these hot products like this or things that have recently come out or people are talking about or even just look cute, sometimes I like to keep them around when I'm thinking of like the content creation side of this, um, not necessarily just the personal. And when I'm looking at my collection as more of a collection for studio and again, content creation, sometimes I keep things around like that. And I feel like that might be this item, we'll just see. And then last couple of things here, the Pixie Glow Tonic. I really haven't tried it a ton. I just feel overwhelmed by all the shit that was on that spinner and also off the spinner and everywhere else in that whole bathroom. So uh, I think right now I'm gonna just re-put it back. I might retire it and bring it back a different time. We'll just see. This Frutia, I like more for like my body and not necessarily my face. It's more refreshing and I was using it more during summer. So I might just move it back to more body care. This from Beauty of Joseon, I really do like this. I feel like this is getting old specifically and I have some backup. So I think I'm gonna retire this one as in get rid of it and I'll probably bring a new one out soon. It's a nice more glowy serum and it almost, it's not quite an oil. It doesn't feel like oily necessarily, but it's definitely more hydrating. And then from Touchland, it's not that I don't like the Touchland stuff because I love how thin it is for your purse, but I do really love, um, if you want like the best, honestly, I, I have some on my list to still try, but the one I really go back to, it's the Jow hand sanitizer, the spray one of that, or even the pump one. I just love the smell of that. I love using that one. So um, I feel like really I want to purchase that. So cute, so aesthetic. I really do like it, but this one is the Glow Mist and it's like a rose scent and I just don't love the rose scent. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that. And last year from Glow Recipe, I do really like this serum. So I'm gonna keep it, especially cause it's supposed to help with redness. I've gone through a few of these and I don't think I would purchase this, but when I get scented, I, I use it. So I'm gonna put that in the spinner, I believe too. And now let's pick out some new options. First, I guess we'll put this all away in the spinner and see how much room we have, what we kinda want for different sections and what we're missing, I guess. I really realize that usually you guys like to see what I'm getting rid of, like, you know, the pile so far. So I thought I would show you guys. All right, so all this is gonna go, which makes me so happy. Um, I'm gonna sort through and figure out what stuff is for sure good to get rid of. There's just a few items I'm like, mm, that might be a little, a little sus, you know, but that's pretty good. It's gonna, I'm gonna spin you around. I, this is not the cutest look. I know that audio probably sounded insane. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but if you can, this is what I am going to be retiring. And then now I'm gonna go and actually fill up the spinner and see again, how much space we have to fill with other products. Okay, so this is where we're at and I have a lot of room, basically all of the top. Um, I think I have a few sunscreens I need to add, so those will be added on here too, but I definitely have some room to shop, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm also gonna be getting rid of these two products, the Unite 7 Seconds Detangler. I just, you know, it's fine. But again, I'd rather try new ones or the Way one. And then this Versed uh, Exfoliant, I just don't like it. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. So those are gonna go, that came from my shower. All right, I moved us in here with the good camera. So hopefully the audio is better, I'm sure it is. So I have a bunch of products, let me show you. These are all the products that I wanna add. So let's just, I guess, do it this way. This is Josie Marin's Get Even Sun Milk. I wanna give that a try. I have a few different creams here. This one's from Naturium. It was just like a gift with purchase type of thing, but it's the Rich Moisture 
texture cream. So I want to try it. Hopefully I like that one. I'm going to replace that Beauty of Jozon Glow Serum with this one, which is a Revive Serum. And this is what that looks like. So I'm going to put that up there. I also have a Bioma little hydrating serum I want to try. I have a few different products from Bioma, but I'm going to start with this. A cleanser from Peach and Lily. This one is the Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I've never tried this, so I'm really excited. They sent over a few different skincare items, so I really can't wait to try this one. I wanted to put the rest of the Coco Kind products that I got in here as well. So I have the Ceramide Barrier Serum. Really excited to try that. And then another cleanser. This is the Oil to Milk one. And I also... I should get the other <laughs> cleansers that I've been using, but I definitely want to try both of those. From Glow Recipe, this is the eye cream, the guava one. I've never tried this, so I was like, heck yeah, I want to try it. Hopefully, wait, this is the sample. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I don't think I like this product. That's the whole fucking point. Well, just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's put that to the side. We'll figure that out later. I did want to try a new eye cream though. So I got this Tacobo one and we'll see how I like this. It's pretty big for an eye cream. It's reminding me of the Biro in a lot of ways. So hopefully I like that. I wanted to add two more masks. This one's the Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream. I was gifted both of these ones, but this is, let's see. Oh yeah, that does look like cookies and cream. So I'm gonna put that in. And then this one from Ole Henriksen. This one is really exciting. I've been wanting to try this actually from seeing social media, but it's that like iridescent one. <laughs> Do you know? Have you seen this? Look at that. It's kind of like iridescent when you put it on. So it's like their flash mask. So I'm excited to try that one for sure. And then I did pick out some of these Tolly Moly ones to try. They're like I don't know, kind of wet. I don't know why that is. So I need to wash them off, but those are going to go in too. And then I still have a ton of room in here, actually. Up here, I have like glow recipe stuff. This is some masks, but there's still room here. This is more masks. Um, I have my samples here, just some exfoliating eye patches and other pimple patches. These are cleansers completely open. Another moisturizer here. Some of the kind of sprays and like milks and stuff. And then on top, I really only mentioned the glow recipe stuff, but I have some more moisturizers here. This is a moisturizer as well as sun care and more moisturizers and then serums. So I have a lot of room to play and I kind of like it. It's full for sure, but I also have some room to kind of add things as I maybe get it in PR or, you know, as it comes to me, I can kind of add it and it's not going to immediately go into overflow here. So I think I'm going to keep this for the next little bit and see how I like it. Probably not my most flattering angle. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reset with me. I know I said I was going to do it a long time ago, but things got in the way. So I finally was able to do it and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.